these conditions look epic. Welcome back guys. We are set for a beautiful day now and we have magnificent weather and Katie and I are going to take you scuba diving over lunch. We had heaps of things going on today. We're planting timbers for the new boats. The second new boat is getting fitted out. Uh, we've got some leaf going on at my place, some plastering going on up at our new place, flooring getting processed for our new place. We've got lots of little odd jobs getting done around the resort. Kids are in the lagoon uh, playing with Miri and Grandma who arrived yesterday afternoon. My dad's still having a rest after a big day of travel yesterday. Yeah, I'm running around getting the few guests sorted that we've got in house. Okay, four men just arrived. <laughs> four women, yeah. Four women just arrived. Can't wait to be here doing my voiceovers and not having. This morning I had to run to the workshop, <laughs> get the guys to stop the planer, and then run back, say, okay, go ahead, <laughs> just so I could record like an eight second voiceover. <laughs> so annoying. What do you reckon? Are we in by Christmas? <laughs> Next week? <laughs> Wishful thinking keeps us going. <laughs> we'll be in soon enough. Okay, so your video is done and you're off to the beach, eh? I think we can go for a dive today. Yeah, that's can the plan. Diving? Lunchtime dive. Alright. These conditions look epic. It does look nice. Beautiful water. seen quite a few of the jellyfish, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, we had some of them yesterday. So, we're going now, we go down quick, we should be right here. Yeah. yeah, in and out, quick. For many years we have witnessed the cuttlefish courtship, mating and laying of eggs at this very site. Cuttlefish are one of four cephalopods we see here at UP, the other three being octopus, squid and nautilus. For cuttlefish the courtship is quite a beautiful display as males are often required to fight viciously to rival other males for the chance to mate and the male is required to impress the female in the first place. On this occasion, it seems the male has no competition, and so he is only required to impress the female with a magnificent display of colour and texture transformation and changing shapes using his tentacles. The male will make multiple approaches to determine if the female is interested and she will use her colour signals to communicate when she is ready.
Once the cuttlefish interlock heads, the male can transfer sperm packets to her mouth cavity. Females can store sperm from multiple males at once and they often will have multiple partners during a breeding season. So males often shoot water into a female's mouth to displace another male's sperm packets before depositing their own and this increases the chances of their successful reproduction. When the female is ready, she chooses a safe place to lay and fertilise her eggs. This happens soon after mating. Today we got to witness the whole process, from courtship, mating, all the way through to laying her eggs in this fire coral. Here she chooses the fire coral where clusters of her eggs will remain safe from predators since she will die soon after reproduction. We absolutely love being able to share these underwater experiences with you all. To have such interesting creatures living right here on our coral reef. We feel so lucky to be able to jump in for a dive and witness something like this. It was an 85 minute dive and I have loved every minute putting this video together so that you could see it. We'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and like this video as it really does help the system to find other ocean lovers who might enjoy our content. I don't believe there's a cuttlefish emoji, so as always, feel free to drop a fish in the comments below because that really does help us too.
jellyfish. Oh yeah, nice jellies there. That's pretty spicy. Mm. All right, the neck. Spin around to the sun a bit. Oh yeah, all up the neck. All right, let's get some vinegar. Yeah. Vinegar and your chin as well. <sighs> I've had a shower, got some vinegar on this, and I've taken some antihistamines. Very, very spicy stingers, but it's all good. I got smashed all over my chin, up pretty much under my mask and my neck before my wetsuit. <laughs> um, unlucky I guess but it was an awesome dive we had a really really cool time we actually went down and checked the fire coral when we first got in because it, this is an area where we commonly see cuttlefish I haven't dived to that site in years and so anyway we checked the fire coral when we first got in there were there was nothing there carried on with our dive and then came back and spent about half an hour just watching these two I guess flirting and getting it on and then laying the eggs into the fire coral it was a pretty cool experience so hope you guys enjoyed this one and we will see you tomorrow Liana.